Hi everyone, it's Wednesday and we're continuing to work on subtraction. Um, this will be your last formal lesson for maths this week as um, on Thursday this week you've got a special disco which is very exciting and then on Friday you've got a catch up day so you can come back if you don't get through all these activities or if there's another um, activity you'd like to do for maths you can come back and do those or you can choose the optional activities so um, there's lots of options for you to catch up on this if you don't get it all done okay all right so to be successful we're um, going to be learning and hopefully now mastering to um, select and use a variety of strategies to solve subtraction problems involving one and two digit numbers we can solve subtraction problems accurately, check solutions using a different strategy, show our strategy and working out, and explain or demonstrate how an answer was obtained. Okay, um, and we've got our word wall that we'll continue to work on and use in our language as we're describing our maths um, problems this week. Okay, so firstly, I just wanted to revise some of the strategies um, because really this is about you getting the strategies that works best for you. Um, and so that's why I just want to revise those and this can be somewhere that you come back to and have a look over to think, oh, I think I wanna try that strategy. And if you need any help, you can ask your class teachers to help you with these strategies and, and maybe we can give you a little bit more of a hint or, or refer you to where you can find some more information to help you with this strategy. Okay, so we've got the counting back strategy. So um, this is where we count backwards. We can use a number line to do this. Um, we can bridge to 10. Uh, we can use our jump strategy, counting backwards. So it's, it's all of those skills that we've been learning about. Um, but going backwards when we're doing subtraction, not forwards, okay? Um, then we've got petitioning. So we can petition our numbers. We could, we've used this with the split strategy. So we're um, petitioning our numbers into tens and ones. And, and as you're, you start to master the three digit numbers, you'll be able to start to petition them into hundreds to um, do subtraction as well. So if you want to challenge yourself, that's an option for you is to try some three digit numbers as well. So counting on. So we can use counting on for subtraction as well. Um, we start at the lower number in our, our mathematical problem. So in subtraction, it's always we know the whole number, which is in this case 33 minus 16. Um, but we can actually go backwards, uh, sorry, we can actually count forwards from 16 to work out the missing number, okay? So start at the lower number and count on to the higher number. The number of steps you make to the higher number is your answer, okay? So we, we sort of like an inverse operation, we're able to use it the other way. We can do this with larger numbers as well, 73 minus 56. So we can do the same thing starting at 56 and count how many in between to the number 73. The jump strategy that we've worked on this week, the jump strategy is when you're using a number line to jump in tens and ones to arrive at the answer. Okay, so these, this is all things that we've been learning about this week and these are just some um, posters for you to see or to references for you to have a look at to help you with these. Normally we'd have them up and around in the classroom for us to work on and come back to, but because we're not in the classroom, I just wanted to share them with you here. Okay, so the split strategy we've been working on this week. So we can, this is just a poster for your reference to have a look through. Um, the split strategy is when you split a number into parts and subtract each part separately. This is useful for larger numbers. So we're splitting our numbers into tens and ones um, and following the steps as we have done yesterday. I hope you did really well with that. And um, if you need any help, please shout out to your teachers. Okay, and um, then we've got the compensation strategy. And this is something that we often have chats about in the classroom when we talk, we share our strategies that we use for maths. We've all got different strategies that work best for us. 
And um, this one is quite handy. You can round numbers up to an easier number. So it's always easier to work with um, 20, uh, sorry, um, with our numbers that end with a zero or a zero tail as we talked about yesterday. Um, or numbers that um, end in five. So these are just easier numbers for us to work with. So it can be helpful for us to round numbers up and down um, to make a number sentence easier. So the compensation strategy is when you round numbers in an equation to make it easier to solve in your head. So we've got 25 minus 18 equals seven. Well, we could actually say add two more to 18 and make it 20. So 25 minus 20 equals five. So that's a lot easier, but we need to remember to add that two. So five plus two equals seven. So that gives us our answer. So I hope, I, I don't wanna confuse you by adding an extra strategy in. I just wanna revise some that you've already done. So if it's not a strategy that you're not comfortable with, try the ones that we have gone through step by step. Okay. Okay, so this is your actual activity today. Um, so th this is the first activity for you to play today. So choose your preferred think board or make your own. So there are some different versions of think boards. This is probably the simplest one in the pack. Um, so just do as many of the squares as you like, or rectangles I should say. Um, roll the dice and make a two digit number, and then uh, roll the dice again and make another two digit number. So what you're going to want to do, like our um, higher number last week, I want you to make the highest number the one that you write first, because we need to have our whole number for subtraction it has to be the first number and then we subtract the smaller number. Okay, so that's really important that you remember that you must subtract from the bigger number. So um, let's say I've got um, rolled my dice here and I've got 25. So I'm going to write that on to my pink board. Okay, and then I need to have a smaller two digit number. So if you roll a number and it's larger than that, you're going to have to roll a smaller number or just choose a smaller number that you want to practice with. Um, uh, or you can roll the dice or have four and try and um, choose the, the number that's best for you. Okay, so let's try that now. I'm going to pick a number, I'm gonna say 12. Okay, and then I'm going to complete the think board. So 25 minus 12, I can use my counting back strategy and I can show by writing all of my numbers by counting backwards on a, could draw a number line here and I can start with 25. I can end with 12 and I can think about the steps along the way. Okay, um, so that's one way you can do it. You can draw a picture over here. You can write how you've solved it. Maybe you've used a dif different strategy and you don't want to um, draw that strategy, but you can explain it. That's really important that you can explain the strategy that you've used. And then we've already written it as a number sentence in the middle, um, but you might use a split strategy and write another number sentence over there, or you might um, do it as a picture number sentence. It's up to you, okay? And then you can complete it. So you can write equals and tell me the answer over here, okay? So it's just a game. You can do it as many times as you like. Um, there is another activity following this. So you, you might want to um, just do this for 10 minutes and then, then move on to the next activity, okay? Um, here's a sample of a different number board. You do not have to, another think board, you don't have to do every step. Um, so just do the ones that you know. It's got writing in words, related addition facts, um, number sentences, split or petitioning. So you can draw the tens and the ones for that one. So um, a number line, you might find that's a very small space. So just, you can either draw a number line, you could even take a photo and pop it on your number line and, and um, put it on the Google Classroom. Um, 
or use the number line that's in your pack. Okay, so that's just another option. Just choose choose the option that's right for you. You guys know what um, what you feel more comfortable with using. Okay, so here's our um, tools to help us with subtraction. I've got a number line here, um, and you can find that in your slides in the Google Classroom. We've also got our hundreds chart, so this will also be in our slides. So you can find that you've used hundreds charts other days as well. So you can use those as well. Okay, so now that it's your turn, you can complete the subtraction three PDF using at least two strategies. So um, in your pack, there is a PDF with a, a, a few different number sentences and it's got some room for you to work out um, your number sentences using the strategy. So um, you can find your blank number line, your hundreds chart, or you can use hands-on materials from home or these tools to help you to subtract the numbers in your chosen strategy. So we've got the ICT games below, you can follow that link. Um, make sure you show or explain your strategy and take a photo and add it to your completed work. Okay, so that's um, really important that we try two strategies. So it might be really simple strategies. You can choose any of the strategies that we've done over the last um, few days. Okay, then you've got the dice game that I've gone through. And then, num then number three is your optional play and follow the fact family game using addition and subtraction. Choose the level that is right for you. So that's on ABC yeah? and you can choose the, the level that is right for you. It could be um, up to 20, it could be up to 40, it could be up to 100. It's up to you what you feel comfortable with. All right, good luck. I hope that that goes well for you today and um, just let us know if you need any help. Bye.